Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have our special guest, Miss Riley. Say hi. That's her tail going crazy. She decided to join me today. Jay Waz, my husband, also known as Jason. He just went to go get his hair cut and so Riley and I have been chilling this morning and she wanted to be in here for today's video which just melted my heart because it's been a long time since she's been in one of my sit down videos. She has been so attached at the hip lately with Jason and with me. She's just been following us around everywhere and I think she just she's just feeling extra lovey. So she's gonna be in here with me for a bit. She's also blowing her coat right now which means that she's going through her her, like twice a year shedding phase where she just literally sheds all of her hair so we love her but she's a little bit hairier than usual today we are going to be doing an Abercrombie and Finch try on haul I have got 10 pieces to show you guys these are all brand new summer pieces and I'm excited to show you guys what we've got so I've got my bag right here so much good stuff in here and we're about to leave for our trip to Boston in the next week so I thought I could open this stuff up and see what I want to take on that trip and just show you guys some really great new arrivals. For those of y'all who are new to my channel, I will have everything linked down below in the description box as well as the sizes that I got in each piece. I'm five foot two just for reference if you're new here, but let's go ahead and get into the try on haul. You say hi, say hi, look at this. <laughs> you love me. You're so special, I love you. Hmm. Too sweet. Okay, you will have to forgive me, but we have got a lot of green pieces. Apparently I've been very into green lately, but some really cute patterns and prints right now. Okay, first up is this blue tank, and this is a dusty blue ribbed tank. It actually feels like it's decently thick. I love Abercrombie because they have so many different varieties of basics. Even though they have this tank, they have this tank in a bunch of different colors, and then they have this tank with like a higher neck, and then they have this tank with like a mock neck. So any type of simple basic that you're looking for, basically Abercrombie has some variation of it. This one has a little bit of a deeper scoop neck, so I'm really interested to see how this fits. I like that it's cropped, but it's not gonna show your stomach. It's gonna kind of hit right at the top of your jeans or your shorts, which is perfect for me. It's a really nice dusty blue color. I try to not get too many neutrals with this haul because I've noticed that I typically gravitate toward neutrals. And honestly, lately I've been really liking color. Like this emerald green tank, I have not been able to stop wearing ever since I got it because it's just been very like, I don't know, different for me. And I love how vibrant and just bold it feels, especially for me. I actually don't have a ton of blue in my wardrobe. I have a lot of different variations of green, but I actually don't have a ton of blue in my actual wardrobe. So I'm excited to incorporate this. It's very simple, but I love any type of good tank to wear just with some denim shorts. That's kind of my vibe. If you guys couldn't tell, I have a very like simple, clean style. I'm gonna go ahead and just get these out of the way because these are probably the least interesting from everything like this in the tank. These are a pair of their running shorts and I have these in, I think it's like a taupe color and I love them. These shorts have the built-in lining, it has tiny holes in it for breathability and I love shorts that have something beyond just the underwear lining. I love when they they have actual like shorts underneath them. So I love these for running. I like them for playing tennis. These are just really great shorts and they come in a bunch of different colors, but I decided to go crazy and get this funky print. This is an abstract print and it's just gray on gray but they're a really good length. I love how high-waisted they are. And like I said, I have another pair of these, so I kind of already knew that I really liked these. Next up is this tank. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of green pieces in this haul, but this tank is so cute and so different than anything that I have. I don't have a ton of bold printed pieces like this. This is a funky kind of retro print, and I just have been loving all of like the checkered prints that's been happening lately. And and then this isn't necessarily checkered. It's a little bit of a variation of a checkered print, but I just love how funky this is. I think it would look so good with like white denim. You could also wear it with the black shorts that I've got on right now from Paige Denim. And again, it's a cropped fit, but I think it should hit kind of right at the top of my shorts. So I love the green piping. It's almost the same color as the top I'm wearing, but this is a little bit more of a yellow green, whereas what I'm wearing is more of like a blue 
blue, like emeraldy green, if that makes sense. So not quite the same color, but pretty dang close. Clearly I've been into very vibrant greens lately. Literally every single piece is green, so let's just keep going with all the green. This is a high neck tank, and this one's actually a bodysuit. So I hope that I got the right size in this. I typically do not size down in bodysuits. I'm right between an extra small and an extra extra small, and depending on the piece, I like kind of figure that out. But most of the time, I don't size down in a bodysuit. I'm hoping that this is the right size for me. Obviously in the cutaway, you guys can see what it looks like on, but it is striped and textured. So I think even if it fits pretty snug, the stripe and the ribbing of it should like kind of mask a lot of the very tightness of the top. I like the thin straps, the square neckline, and the fact that it's a bodysuit is perfect because you don't have to worry about tucking it in, especially with things that fit really, really fitted. It's kind of nice that it's a bodysuit that way it just like hugs everywhere really nicely so this one is in clearly my favorite color right now this really beautiful olive green next up is a sweater vest and i don't know if this is appropriate for the summer but i figured because it was a crop and because it was sleeveless that i could probably just wear it with a normal bra and some shorts but it's this really funky pattern this one also comes in i think just like solid cream solid black i think it also maybe comes in solid taupe or tan as well but i decided to switch it up like i said i wanted to grab some patterns for this haul and I think this with the black shorts and a sneaker would be so cute a little crossbody bag and you could also wear this into the fall because it is a sweater vest so I feel like there's some versatility in this one but I just I don't know I've been loving all these funky prints lately and this one I think is really cool I did get one long sleeve sweater one thing that I think is really funny about Abercrombie is that when you go on their website and you look at the new arrivals sometimes they literally are releasing like long sleeve sweaters or sweater vests or like puffer jackets during like summer and I've noticed that I don't know why that is maybe just for like different regions some people are in the market for a long sleeve sweater I however don't think I'm gonna get to wear this until the fall but I really liked this so I decided to go ahead and get it. It is a long sleeve fitted ribbed knit collared sweater top and it kind of fits into all the categories that I love which is like any type of top with buttons on the front. This one's gonna be really really fitted which honestly gives me like Abercrombie vibes. I don't know if you guys shopped Abercrombie like in high school but I remember their long sleeve tops like being so fitted. So I'm hoping that I got the right size in this. We'll see, you, you guys will see based on the cutout but I just really like this olive green and white striped pattern. I think this would be so cute in the fall with a pair of denim and like a sneaker. And I also love anything that's collared. So it kind of just checked all the boxes for me, even though it is like literally 98 degrees today here in Nashville. I will eventually get to wear this. All right, more green pieces. This one is a bodysuit and it's one of their ribbed knit bodysuits. I actually really like their bodysuits because they cut in here. So even if you don't have like an hourglass figure, they kind of like help you look like you do. And what's really nice too is with bodysuits, you don't have all this extra fabric here at the waist. It kind of like hugs you, which is really nice. So I think their bodysuits are really flattering. This one is a v-neck bodysuit and also has a v-neck in the back. It's this beautiful like lime green, although it's not neon. So you don't have to worry about it being like too obnoxious and bright. It is a really vibrant green. And and I just love anything that is ribbed. It looks like it's gonna be really flattering on, again, it's bodysuit, so you don't have to worry about tucking it in. And it just seems like a really fun piece to throw on with a pair of denim shorts. I almost forgot to do this dress. This dress, guys, is so wild. I love it so much. I feel like it is, it's probably the most tropical thing that I own. And it is, I think it's, a, is it a maxi or a midi? I really can't tell from holding it up. You guys will see here, but it's really cute because it has these straps that are super thin and then it's a deep v-neck. So I got this one, I sized down in this. I typically size down in a lot of their dresses. I'm not sure if this is in petite as well. Okay, so I don't think this is in petite, but I do know a lot of the dresses on Abercrombie also come in petite, which I think is so nice when you are like five foot two or shorter. But this dress is probably gonna be a maxi on me now that I'm thinking about it. 
It has some smocking here in the back, so it should be pretty comfy. And then it's kind of hard to tell, but it's got buttons all the way down the front. And it is this beautiful floral tropical pattern. There's birds on it. There's flowers on it. There's giant like palm leaves on it. And then at the very bottom here, it's got a kind of tiered ruffle skirt. So there's a lot of pattern, a lot of texture, a lot of fabric going on with this dress, but it just feels like so resort vibes to me, which I think is really fun for summer, obviously. Throw it on with a sandal, little basket bag, and I just think this is gonna be a cute summer dress, especially if you're going on a trip. This would be adorable. And also, it is a really like substantial weight to it. Like it doesn't feel super thin. It's lined. I think it has pockets. Do you have pockets? Maybe it doesn't have pockets. A dress without pockets? Is that even a thing anymore? Wait, wait, wait. I, I feel like a pocket in here somewhere. Do you have pocket i don't think it has pockets i didn't even know they made dresses without pockets anymore okay so yeah i don't think there are pockets unless i am just not able to find it in all of the fabric so no pockets but really really cute you can throw it on with like a basket bag and then you don't need pockets so next up is one of their smoothing seamless tanks or like fabric pieces. I have a couple of these in bodysuit form and they are so nice because they really are like this very smoothing material. So they look really great over just like sticky boobs or with a normal bra. And this one is in this kind of brownish, almost like brownish mauve to me. It has a little bit of a purple undertone to it. So it's not quite like taupe or brown. It's more of like a purpley brown, if that makes sense. But it should be really flattering on. It's a crop, but hopefully it won't be too short. I'm hoping it hits kind of at the top of my shorts. And then also has this kind of fake boning in the front. So this is an actual boning. It's just a stitching under the bust and then the back is totally smooth. So it doesn't go all the way around the top either. Last piece is this adorable smocked top. I don't think this is an off shoulder piece. I'm pretty sure it sits up on the shoulders, but I just thought this pattern was so cute. It's all these little palm trees and it just, it just felt so tropical to me. I don't know why there was one version of this that was like a kind of like more of a watercolored style pattern. But for some reason I was like, I want the palm trees. For some reason I was very attracted to the almost like beachy resort wear vibe of this top. It has these really fun like fluttery sleeves. It's smocked all the way around so it should be really, really comfortable. And it's a square neckline. It should hit right at the top of jeans or shorts. It would look so cute with white denim with like a heel and a brown bag. You could wear it out to dinner. I just think it's a fun little piece to have. So really, really like this one. And yeah, the trees for some reason. They're also like upside down palm trees, which I think is so interesting. There's some like right side up, but most of them are upside down. So it's a very like chaotic palm tree pattern, but it's cute. But those are all of the pieces from this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything on. If you want to check anything out, I'll have it linked down below in the description box with my sizes that I got. If you enjoyed this video though, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was from this haul. And if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos, I would love to have you back on my channel. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys. Can you say goodbye? Say bye. It's been a long time since you've, I know. It's, it's been a long time since you've been on camera.